Yeah, I'm getting you a 10 minute dub here. It's going to be top we, tier uh, coaching. Let's get some thoughts on Bobble. What are we thinking? In the jungle. It's I in amazing. Field, it's amazing because yeah. jungle build, your first three items have been like power and pen items, right? It's like, you know, min max the first three items. Well, now you don't have to do that. You just min max cooldown, which is guaranteed 50% at like sub 20 minutes, which is crazy if you really think about it. Like, so. Am I just at 40% cooldown taking the augment and then when I upgrade to Boombas, I just get no. that augment and so I just take the speed? Jotuns, you'll probably go Hydras, I'd assume you'd want to because you just get the combos off of yeah. it. You could go Soul Eater if you wanted and then build. Bobble. Um, this is the build that I was using. I don't know if this is a... Uh, problem is it's just 40%. And then I saw Adapting Ace. running the same build, just he got pen before Bobble. So I guess that's a preference thing, but he actually was running the same thing. So yeah, then it would be Blood Forge, maybe? No, then it would be Hydras. And then if you're doing okay. good, I would go Bobble in that third open slot or your fourth slot, I guess. So at that point okay. you have 50% cooldown with with blue, with blue Shaman Totem. So that's okay, like, so it is, uh, yeah, so blue augment. Yeah, okay, and okay. then if you're not really doing good or they're too tanky, I would go the Serrated or the Titans in that slot and then go Bobble after and then just round out with Heartseeker. It's like the same build, but you're just fitting Bobble into it now. So it's no Blood Forge, it's Heartseeker last? Uh, that's what I've been doing. I You could go Blood Forge if it works better with your God. Like, you know, if you aren't playing around yeah. multiple procs. Uh, I think Heartseeker is insane because it's like, I mean, even for you, if you're just hitting your one and your three, that's an extra like 300 damage onto a squishy full build. Yeah, yeah. Okay, which okay. is a lot, like a lot, a lot. Um, if you were playing and sustain, then, like if you were going to like, a soul eater build, I could see you going blood forge and just, you know, sitting there and autoing them like an idiot. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even realize my is not here. Your team's um, out. With Boombas, am I going like for pots? I, like the, the hardest part for me is just like knowing min max things. Like, am I going two health pots, two multi? I go, so two I go to, it's going to be different based on the god you're playing. But if you're going to fight or there's uh, potential for you to fight, you're a fender. You're probably going to be aggressive in mid at level two, level three. So you yeah, want multi pots. Yeah. So you can double pot health and multi. Because there's so many fights you win by double potting and just eating creep damage. Whereas if you have mana yeah. pots, you're kind of screwed. The, the reverse is if you're playing something that's just going to clear, like, I don't like know. A say, Loki yeah, a Loki or a mage or or someone where you're just going to spam clear in mid and try to dip. Like you're, you're going to double ability and leave. Then probably mana would be more valuable. Okay. And then if you ever run I, you're almost always going to want mana on your mana intensive gods like that. But multi is like not the end of the world. You're still chilling. It all just depends okay. on how you plan on playing. It doesn't always work out that way, but that's kind of yeah, is what it is. On Fenrir. So yeah, everybody, anyone who plays Fender is going to, you're jumping in at like level two, three and, and you're W king. I also think I liked I before this patch protector. I just thought it was OP because you could pair it with another tank uh -huh. item and you're super tanky. I think Bumba's is now just better because of Bobble. I, I think there's going to be very few gods that it's not better on. Like maybe, maybe Mercury is like one that comes to mind that you would still run eye on. Yeah, the patch today, I read that they couldn't get it up on Xbox. Yeah, no, they, they couldn't. <laughs> what? I, I as long I streamed like eight or nine hours today, and the entire time I was live, it was down on Xbox. Oh so. my gosh, that's so many people not playing. Up. To be honest, dude, that's yes. crazy. Yes, fuck. <laughs> Your queues lost like half the half the player base. If I DC'd out of a game and like tried to log back in, like Panatom crashed out of a game earlier. He literally couldn't log back in. It sat on the loading in thing for 10 minutes and we had to surrender the game. Oh yeah, because I mean, me logging in right here, that was like five, 10 minutes. That's crazy. I wonder what's yeah. going on. That's probably what's happening with this dude. He probably crashed. Or oh yeah, he, he probably get won't get back in. That guy always DCs though. That dude also gets roasted on Twitter uh, all the time. He is a. <laughs> He's a. I mean, he plays good in my game. He plays fine in my games, but he, I see his name all the time on Twitter. He's uh, just a. Uh, he's like a rager. He doesn't like dominate the game. I, I see. I don't experience what a lot of people do because people don't rage in my. They won't rage in my games. Yeah, I'm. I'm just a typer. I'll type at people. And I don't think they they like it. I type it. I talk in chat and I love it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just talking comms because most people join. Yeah, this dude is oh, not gonna get back in. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get a soft it. reset. Nice. Bobby, your map is huge. Holy shit. I have always had it that big. Bro, that's as big as some people's monitors. <laughs> yeah. Oh I like having it big. Oh my god. Well, the most important thing on the map is or on the on your screen is the map. If you're missing Fenrir abilities, I have another <laughs> thing coming. Okay, you're not wrong. Oh, no. Is Bobby compensating? Oh, Bobby's just bobbing around. 
Yeah. Yeah, um, so the biggest thing right here is where mo most people, this is where people get lost in the sauce. You just decide now what you want to do. It doesn't matter what you think looks like, you know, halfway through what looks right. Just decide whether you want to go mid and farm or you want to go for a crazy ganking, right? You're obviously not going to gank here because this dude's not in the game. Yeah, I yeah. am. Yeah, I hope he comes back. I play towards mid here most of the time anyway. Mid is such a weird lane to play off of because ganking mid, if people know you're looking for him, is so difficult and it creates a lot of downside for your side lanes because side lanes just lose yeah. so easily right now. They get farmed and ranked so hard. So I tend to look at like the matchups more how they're going and less of the gods like, you know, this god should beat this god. Like I'll look left and be like, Odin, well, he's dead because it's Eros, but like, you know, it's Odin versus Herc. It's probably pretty even, but maybe he's winning and poking him. So I, I would prioritize ganking my lane for that time period. I think I can contest this. Oh, he's back. Ooh. So I would pop the health pot here going into this fight. So you're ticking up. He's on you. I'm going to him stepping on you. Yeah. That Agni got way farther away than that I thought he would. This is crazy because well, they just played so safe, but that is not super common to dip like that off of a camp. You get both though, so this is I good mean, for it's you. It's not that bad for me even, right? No, this is great for everything. you. This is great for you. It's more great in the negative side for Neki or Loki and less like you gaining. You're you're gaining obviously, but it's it's more Loki's now really offset. Now you can go pressure him at his back camps or go to your back camps and just get free farm. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And since it's Loki, keeping up pressure is huge. The biggest thing for you is, uh, oh, so he just did that. Is getting a stun and then autoing him until he goes into his three. So mids just respawned. And usually if you can get mids into your farm, you'll hit five way early. And you also have to worry about his blue since he lost lane. So that's another prio for you. For play here maybe into? Yep. Nice, that's big. So you need a double pot and go straight to your blue. You, you, I would just go straight to it. Timing's just off, you think? Yeah, I mean, if you backed, you're never making it to this if they're invading. So then you lose out on a lot of running arounds. And if you're here, there's the possibility that Raw comes with you and you guys get a good fight. Because he's like, you know, you could tell him, hey, come to this. Yeah, yeah. If you wanted to fight over like this. heal so much. Oh, yeah. Double pots are going to go crazy. Your Bumbas is going to go crazy. You just got to make sure you get the last hits. Okay, okay. That's something to know. Yeah, just farm out left side. Yep. For just Jotuns. back farm, you know, back farm all your stuff. You should get gold for Jotuns and then back. And I'd look for a ganking, right? It's going to be hard. Yeah, he's yeah. level two. Maybe just gank mid since he's level two. Yeah, you've got a lot of early farm here. Loki is level five though. He just should be behind in gold. You'll need the wave. I just get the wave. If I were you. Oh, wave and then come out of base yep. to get right. Yeah, the biggest thing in jungling, it's kind of hard to know when to leech. And like somewhere like here is massive leech because you want to back. Like, I never like, leech. Like you could back right now and then you come out, you get your speed. Your speed's also on more of a timer. So you, you carry speed all the way through. So you're never losing speed now. And you have full item. You're just kind of on a good rotation out. Also, in terms of matchups, the Ganesh is going to be annoying for you to gank that lane. But if the Ganesh goes aggressive, you kill that Hachi. Like you're, you just throw him and he's just dead. He can't get away. Hold your three for his ult. I he's mean, gone. Pretty easily kill Ganesh too, even. You could, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking in terms of like if you were going aggressive, he's gonna interrupt all your shit or a lot of your shit. Whereas yeah, yeah, yeah. if you play slow and go on Hachi, he's dead. It's just a hard gank. You're probably prioing mid here. Possible right now. Uh, at love once he's five, it's possible. Once you're Izzy's five, just because he can do damage. This is also easy pressure for you. I need to get up, get up. Good play. So smart. If I were you so there, fun. when the Agni dashes, you know he's gonna stun you. So I would have Alter, canceled right? your Brutalize and ulted it right away. Just so that way you still have your beads up. I don't think it's gonna matter here, but it's always nice to have up. So you need to brutalize correctly on this guy. You need to be behind him when you like brutalize off to the side. Yeah, oh. or wait for his dash. Yeah, you can brutalize so you're behind them, so it doesn't stun you. But that works. Everything's convenient when uh, you don't have to do any of the work. Oh, I didn't even mention um, leveling your two is way better than leveling your three. Gotcha. You're already twoing into your abilities. You've been doing it the whole time, so like you already have the mm. the mechanic down. You just leveling your two gives you so much power. Plus your three, I mean, 
even when you killed him right there, that wasn't your full brutalize. You still had another lunge Just left. One hit. Yeah, you're uh, in mid. You can't. You wanted to cancel it, so it's like never being fully utilized, and your autos are gonna be pretty big if you're fighting the Loki. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this build Bobby's gonna go. This cooldown build is what you go on every ability jungler. You're just gonna change the cooldown item after Jotun's. Like he's gonna go Hydra's here. He could go Soul Eater if he wanted, and then a lot of gods, you could go Soul Eater. Or if you're like Rav, you could go Erendite. Like there's a bunch of items that fit that slot. This a feels good thing right now. Yeah. Uh, blue or blue, blue all day, blue all day. You're gonna leave it blue until you finish your uh, your Bumbus hammer. Yeah. And then you should be 50% cooldown. And then at that point, you decide whether you want yellow for more pen or you want lifesteal for more sustain. And that's just preference. I don't think either is better. Okay. Because they did kind of re nerf red, so it's not as OP. Yeah. Yeah, you just have so much to farm right now. Which is yeah, a, yeah. It's a good problem to have, but it makes the game really awkward because your team's not doing anything. In terms of farm and your three-way splitting which is awkward yeah that sucked yeah that's, i was hoping i'd get to solo it i don't know why i mean i don't i guess it's just the people that are in the game that's not if if you're with some good players they're not gonna do that shit. no way no I'm way i'm pretty confident my gank in right right now yes yes it's it, like, even it just you versus hachi i think you win pretty hard right now you'll probably win t unless he until he gets crit online Oh, he might have just backed if you were watching him any minute. I did not see it yep. if he did. I was I'd get high there. wards here, good. like by his speed while you're back yeah. here. I wouldn't even ward. So that's like that's more helping your you're helping your dude. You want to know where they are before they get there. So like to your right, like here is where I'd ward, like yeah. in that opening. Um, and then for the other side, you might not go as deep. You might put it between the red and the the back camp, just so you know. You basically want to be able to track ganks and rotations. Buy a ward out of base. So either he's got a ward here or he's just not a ward. I don't think he's got a warder. I don't think anyone ever plays up here if they have a ward. Good combos. Oh, yeah. You clap him here. I might want to run him out. Oh, nice. Perfect. Loki's on I his way. Yeah, yeah, I think I should have time to get this. Be careful. Doing, yeah. So be careful with the damage. Dang, you're gonna jack his shield buff? That's crazy. Oh, I just killed his laner. Okay. Yeah, but you don't want him to die. I look at it more like maybe that'll keep him from getting killed the next time. The other thing too, as a jungler, you're gonna burn through that shield instantly. So like, you yeah, get the buff, really but you do lose the shielding right away where an ADC is gonna get a little bit more value off of it. And then I'd be checking builds, like see if this Herc went bluestone or what or what defense he's building. Um, so he's squishy. He's still very that squishy. Yeah. Once he fit, but he doesn't have a finish yet. He and he has bluestone start, so he's actually pretty squishy. Uh, you also have an Odin, so you know like Odin's OP right now. Yeah, pretty free matchup also into the uh, Herc. Yep. That's his dash. I'll just let him tank, and you're chilling. Yeah, this is. Oh, you got. One health. Yeah, you're getting out like it's getting away with everything. Look, someone's pinging under you. Making the play. Oh, you might need to brutalize past him. Nice. <laughs> you know that guy's mad. Oh, no. nice try. He should still be dead. If he doesn't die, your team is missing everything. Uh, wait. Okay, yeah, Odin okay, is crazy so. now, dude. Stun, bro? Yes. Oh. Bro, you can't get away from that. Oh. Like, <laughs> no fucking way he's gonna live. He's walking up. He is gonna. Oh my okay. gosh! I don't even think that would have mattered to be honest. It's actually good that you die now rather than later because you're hyper aggressive. You're more than likely going to die if you're full committing oh. like that. I definitely die a whole fucking load. Yeah, you. The only way you're not dying on Fenrir with a damage build late is if you're brutalizing out. Like you, you know, you bait him, you land, you do a little bit of damage, you just get out. I'm not gonna be. I'm not trying to be mean to Eros, but Odin is broken now. It's not Eros being crazy. That god is uh, very overtuned. I saw someone tweet yeah. today that they took 650 damage from the three that at level Kabal. seven. Yeah, that, it was cool. Yep, that is crazy damage. 667 Odin might be back. Only I get 667 damage off one ability. 
I'd go back to pressuring Hachi so you guys could look at you and a gold fear. Yeah, yeah, I like that. The other thing too with your build, uh, or with, with Fender in general, is you can do the pyro so easily. Like, with just a raw heal or something. It's just free. So vision control around there is big. Take... Oh. Yeah, he's there. Oh, he's screwed. Hello? What just happened? Did you... I didn't cancel that. No, you didn't. You were like in the wall. That's actually funny. That happened. I saw a Bastet ult somebody Wait. yesterday at a wall like that, like you're on right now, and it mm -hmm. pushed him back to the other side of the wall. The guy he pulled. He didn't beads either. It was a solo with no beads. He just ate the ult and then it poofed him back to the other side. So something's going on with walls. Yeah, that was. I did not that cancel that. Yeah, it would have. It didn't make a noise. Like it would have. We would have known. That was strange. Probably just do red reset. I probably should have just reset over there because I'm Yeah, right? more than likely you're gonna reset or take a wave from his, him in that lane before you back if you're looking for a specific item. Because you're just and going I, bobble now. Bobble here. Yeah, bobble. Um it's blinker Aegis up to you. I'm going Aegis because Yeah, I was gonna bomb. say I would probably go Aegis against an Agni all day. And then uh, you more than likely you should have grabbed another ward because you want to get some really deep vision right now. Okay. Like all that early game can be counteracted by your teammates dying once right now, which is why these wards are probably yeah, the yeah. most important wards. I'd be looking to ward and then play around mid for a second. What in the world? There's... Oh my god, so you Vegas. Oh, that's huge. That's a lot of abilities. Do I heal or do I just reset? Uh, there's nothing for me to heal off of, so you're probably just resetting. You're not gonna gain anything. If if you wanted to heal there, you would have checked his backs, but since he came from there, they were probably down. There's really nothing for you to do here other than reset. Yeah. And then if you're not gonna gain Kirk, you're gonna go speed to speed and gain Kachi. And you can farm then, out Kirk, the right side. Point. Or gank at this point is rather useless, right? I'm just going right. Uh, it's useless in terms of like, are you getting a huge value out of it? But it is just giving your Odin more free farm. So just like the farm's up, I'd go farm. But helping your team is also super value if you want that person to be a part of the fight. So if you're trying to make sure that Odin will rotate, that might be the key factor in getting him to rotate. And is this a alt next or one next? One, one, one. Your alt is. Okay, very, I figured. I just is, wanted to make yeah, sure. Yeah, his poop damage. I didn't know if there was tech or something with like hydras where you just one shot. Nah, I mean, you're stunning, autoing, twoing, autoing, threeing when you're ready. And you can cancel the three if you don't go too far to auto again. Like, this is kind of a waste of your time. Uh, it's like cool poke damage, but in yeah, the yeah. in actuality, you're so deep that you're just wasting your own time. Gotcha. And they also know where you are because you spend so much time over there. So it allows other people to get farmed that they might have been worried about. Pressure. Oh my gosh, he's gonna go for a turn on you, I guess. I'd probably as I soon as he to insta cancel it. Yeah, as soon as he beads, I'm probably just playing for like a, a reset because you have so much okay. cooldown and you're about that bobble. So you really just want to get that bobble online before your next ult, anyway. That was smart. I'm just resetting here if I'm you or doing red. You can heal off red and back. Red to reset? Yeah, the, it's, as I say, it's risky with the Loki running around. Any other god where you yeah. see him coming, maybe. Um, that's the problem with like looking for fights all the time or sticking around for a fight. So like, as soon as Ganesh ulted you, I'm probably just resetting. I'm not even watching my Fafnir. Okay. I mean, I'll look at my Fafnir while I back and, you know, if something crazy happens where I can help him, I'll stay. But I'm just looking to back because your, your bobble is important. You are now the same level as Loki, despite you've made way more plays the whole game, pretty much. So it's it's dumb that one death does it, but I mean, it's smite right now. Yeah. One death between like the 11 and 18 minute mark and your whole lead's gone. Plus, these dudes are feeling very slow. You went mid after they went aggro and they slowed everything up. Every single ability was yeah, slow. So I wouldn't even put that so much on you since there's no comms. It'd be nice to know. So yeah, I'm just farming red, I mean, probably, speed, and going left. If I don't ult in right lane, I at least have ult here for safety, but I use it I don't even there. think your ult in right was bad. I think it's just 
if you were gonna commit maybe like just ulting without a full committal is kind of a waste now i just farm a bobble yes or anything else yep yep yep, yep. Big thing here is I think what's Loki's build? Uh, same uh, as mine. Yeah, I think Before. you oh, could beat him in a one v one with your as long as you use your two and your beads correctly. So if you could go and be aggro in their jungle, especially on the left side, that's something you want to be looking to do. After bubble? Yeah, you could do any time. Like this whole like you could have gone left after that speed and done backs and then gone into his jungle just to get timers. Um, objectives. What if I go backs blue. Look for something yeah that's what i would do yeah yeah, yeah you could because when you went went to speed there was really nothing up right like it was you you went across the map to try to get some farm so you could have just done these backs they, they, they i think they were oh no no, no they're gonna be up. Did them. yeah you can just do all this farm and then get timers i like to just glance like i don't even expect the camps and stuff to be up a lot of the time if i don't know where the jungler is but it's good to know that they're down that he's been there or you know that, to get that timer if they're up your team's also fighting for no reason in mid, so it's good to take this time to farm while they're chasing around doing nothing. I bet you this dude's still this killable. I, yeah, as I say, I'm pretty sure he's still just easily killed. Yeah, the damage is ridiculous from Odin. I'm sure you aren't tanking. Nice. Didn't even need to use nah, that. I don't. I don't think it's bad. I talked about this the other day. I think right now securing kills, even if it's something like that, is just smart. There's too many times people get away and get out of fights. Because of actives being on lower cooldowns, yeah. I use that for like the safety. Yep, that's. I think that's just that's a smart play. Because in the event that the Logi ulted you, you'd be pissed you didn't ult. So might as well play the safe yeah. play. I grab a counter ward. You need to get vision control, because your team's not doing it. Yeah, that's my other thing. I I literally never sentry ward when I jungle. Yeah, most people but I know like that's something I should. in lanes and stuff, especially high level players, they'd be like, yeah, I don't need wards. So I spam retreating right or like spam the Loki. You saw him. I'd be show telling them. I try to do that a lot as a jungler. If I see the jungler, I know where he is. I ping where he is. Like, say, you know, you see people across the map sometimes, like their animations and shit. I ping, like, this is yeah, where the yeah. jungler is, just so my team knows. Farm this or rotate? I would Probably keep farm. farming since they won. Yeah. If your Odin goes over there, you're going to be looking to rotate over to him. Your team is just kind of winning, though. Of being a pretty I wouldn't even go to him, I'd farm. Rip. Like you're not gonna 100 to zero that guy. I get a deep ward here, like at their speed. Like like super deep, all the way back there. Like back at the door if you can is a better spot. Uh -oh. Yeah, just in the because a lot of people run through there, uh like non-junglers to get to places, so you'll see them coming rather than gotcha. just when he goes to do his speed. And if you see the jungler they go there, you know his speed was up at that time, so you kind of get a sense of the timers. You guys can do pyro for free. Like yeah, you, the two of you can do it so them. easily, yeah. Plus you had the counter to make sure it was clean. If he, they can test here, I'm just yeah, just go with the farming mid. He might look for a fight though. I mean he is such an OP character yeah. right, at this point. He, and he's huge, so he's not dying. It's gonna take their whole team to even have a chance. Is this just like an ulti uh Ganesh angle and just kill him if you want uh, he's i don't know if you kill him i honestly don't think you kill him i think if i'm you i'm looking for loki yeah because you're gonna take a ton of damage here. that's a good disengage i think you're you're waiting out the loki or if you see him you are 1v1 him. like you're you're challenging him uh, as much for as possible is what I want my eyes for on this game because he's okay. being super he's not like opening early and he's being super patient if you dive into the back line like the Agni or whatever, you get beads, he dashes, you're taking damage, and then Loki goes on you, you're probably dead every single time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, well, and so this is like a point where I get greedy. This, this is, like this is where everybody gets greedy. This is where uh, you have to just be more patient. You're just farming out healing. There's nothing else for you to do. Get your items, get your pen, that's about it. Serrated will be pretty valuable for these soft resets. You'll get to heal a lot more through yeah. two and Serrated. I also think Vigor is very, very good off the Yodens, but I'd go get Serrated finish first. You see a lot of the high level junglers do what you're doing right now like your team's chasing and a lot of people want to be there but what they're doing is dumb like yeah even if sure. you ran there now you'd be doing nothing they're on their way out so it's better to just take the time to farm and hit level 20. i think this is like one thing that i do well is i don't like stick around for stupid fights i'll go and farm the entire jungle and yeah i think full build. playing other roles teaches you that more than playing the jungle like you see adcs yeah. like they'll just be like screw you guys i'm gonna do a level 20 and junglers yeah, don't do that sure. as much is uh serrated more important or serrated sir, sir, uh, i go serrated you need pen 
Okay, because I think I'm just gonna hit 20 here. Off you this are, left but the reset. Bumbas isn't crazy valuable for you because these fights aren't aren't super um, continuous, right? Like you're in and you're having to run away a lot. So we're gonna probably out getting some pens so that person we go and die is the sustain for the soft reset. Then we'll get the Bumbas. You just really need to be patient and get it, letting your Odin and your Fender go into the fight way before you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Or you just aren't playing the game no. unless they're separated. I sit, I sit side, kind of play like Suki does, where I just like look for my opening yep. and then when I find it, go in. Yep. And if you do yeah. kind of see something or you go in early and you realize it as you're jumping, that's when you just brutalize out or even alt out and just just get a reset or Aegis, like you know whatever form of reset you want to do. I think that's just the biggest thing is you're so squishy that if you don't dive once abilities are down or once they can't go on you, you're just screwed. It's like, this is a free kill. This guy's, I don't know what he's doing. I wouldn't even use anything here. I'd wave to brutalize his ult. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's all you gotta do. Plus you get a free kill. Happily take that. I'm gonna watch you guys as soon as I'm out of this map. I thought you said 8, oh, it is 830. Yeah, I'd farm out Bumbas now. That's where you're uh, gonna gonna peek. And it, this is another deep ward. Yes, just all day. Anytime you're around this area or walking up, like say you're walking over for a gank, then yeah, you're just dropping deep deep wards. Deeper the better. I'd put it straight in here in this area. So it'll cross through. And if you were like if this game was difficult in terms of staying in the fight and you wanted even more sustained you said blood forge earlier you could go blood forge i don't think you'd be losing out a whole lot but you'd have to be able to re like go lifesteal you'd have to be able to go auto something every single time or you're not really yeah. getting a lot of value out of it yeah, you're just kind of playing like clean up in these small skirmishes and like soul like of the loki like this is a good kill okay. Yeah, that's good. That was perfect. So as long as you play towards easy, you're chilling here. This guy's trolling. I don't think I kill him enough. No, stun. if you're too, it wasn't a little bit of cool, shorter cooldown. Good commit. Nice. He just crit me. Yeah, that that was that was rough. Because I think you're getting out of his and Ami didn't full commit there. I don't know why she did. But yeah, he went back in. Yeah, I don't think, I think that was bad I was for you. I fight after getting the beads, but. Yeah, you had nothing up. I don't know what he was looking for. And maybe if my two is up, or I could get the stun off. That's it. Yeah, I yeah. Could for the all in. Yep. You had one second left on it, and you gotta remember that's with uh, you had 50 percent cooldown, so there's no world where that shit was gonna be up. Yeah, yeah. Now you have bumbas. I grab a counter and a regular or a or a raven ward, one or the other. What do you What do you think about? all these wards at like this uh, point so that? i think raven is really good if you want your team to go in so like you'll throw it up and be like fight 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 because i can see him okay, um, so yeah i think a regular ward is value if you know you can walk up and get some crazy vision like say you guys are gonna play around pyro or gold you can go ward deep at their red a lot of time as a jungler you can't a lot of time that has to be like the solo or the support so it just depends on how comfortable you are at that point in the game yeah i think because I'm playing Fenrir and I'm full damage, especially because I don't have relics now. It's probably just Raven Ward to try to get my team to go in, right? Yep. Raven's nuts. Uh, the proximity ward I thought was OP at first. And then the more I played against Ravens and the fact that he gets vision for 10 seconds is stupid. Yep. It's absolutely stupid. Yeah, yeah. I like that. So if the next fight you die super quick and have to run away again, I'd swap to Red Shaman Totem to just heal more when you go to, to hit a camp or something after going in. That gotcha. more than likely might be the way you play this game. You go in, you run away, you heal. You go in, you run away, you heal. Okay. So br I, I really shouldn't be looking for Brutalize. Unless it's like yeah, guaranteed. unless it's free. Point. Yeah, like you don't need to full commit. Like I'm all in. I think if you do that, you're just you're just going to get screwed. Unless you're like, oh, this is a free kill. Like he's fine. I'm not taking damage. Biggest thing is soft resetting into heals. Like this is huge. Smart. So I would just ulted that guy. I would have just scooped him up with my ult. Because you don't care as long as he oh. runs away. Oh my gosh. Good, ult. Good job. That's big. That's big. Oh, this is huge for you. Yeah, that's beautiful. Nice. Nice beads. That's absolutely perfect. You can keep fighting right now. Okay, you're crazy. And he's dead. Oh. Oh my gosh, that was a good play from Fafnir to go in. Tanker for you. That's smart. 
That was a really good fight. You resetting the early made that whole fight weird for the Agni. I don't know if you watched, he was like running around and didn't know where to go. Okay, bro. <laughs> I thought you were gonna die. I was gonna say that's karma, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's Fender is just a weird god. Like some of the assassins have the weirdest play styles when you wouldn't think it. Like everyone's like, oh, Fender, you yeah, just W key. Sure. Like you, you, you're very good. You were using everything, mechanics, abilities, everything perfectly. But if you just W keyed in the fight, you were dead. You had to even like you altered him yeah. out. You move away out of the damage. Uh, most people aren't going to do that with Fender, and that's why Fender struggles for like mid level players like Platt. Yeah, and I, I feel like a couple of those fights I got punished because I was thinking about like, how can I help my teammate when I just have to play selfish? Because that's I'm that's jungle right now, bro. Jungle right now is fuck your teammates. That is the whole role. <laughs> Every, I, dude, it, I mean, all right, look at it from like Elo Hell perspective. Everybody says their teammates suck, right? Like everybody, uh, even masters and GM players, but like my teammates suck. If they suck so bad, why are you helping them? Why do you care whether they live or, live or get out or what happens to them? You don't. You shouldn't. You should just play selfish until you're full build. Smite is in a weird yeah, state yeah. where full build level 20 is the only way you win the game. Yep. Like you didn't even hit full build. Your whole 100%. team. Your whole team didn't hit full build. So Bobby gets a free dub. Courtesy. I, I will say the spike difference, like these three items I felt like meh. But then when I got serrated in Bumba's, I felt like... I couldn't be fucked with. Yeah, I think there there's a good chance serrated and bumbas are swapped a lot because people won't be ahead. Uh, so you get the pen uh -huh. earlier. But I don't I don't think the bumbas is actually that crazy. I think it's good. I think it was more just finally you five man grouped and you didn't full commit first. Your Odin full committed first and he got fucking deleted and he was huge. So yeah, yeah. that's the difference in waiting for your front line to actually commit and then playing in and out rather than you trying to go in first and start fights. I mean, I suffer from the same thing. I, I want to fight. I try to go in early, and I it, it makes the game feel terrible when you're the first one in. Yeah. That's why I like playing Erlang, because Erlang, I feel like I can start fights all the time and then just skip out whatever HP, 10%, 15%, but do enough to start a fight, maybe get a kill. You're going hybrid when way. you play him, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah that's. Yeah. I think that's another There's thing, is if, if you can't force yourself to play the way you just did, then you just go hybrid. Like, even on on uh, Fenrir, you could, instead of Hydras, you could go Magi's. Um, yeah, yeah, and then maybe instead of serrated, you went void. Like you know, grab grab double defense, a little bit tankier. You have the, the magi's bubble. It just depends on how you really play. But the way you just played is how you play a full damage build. Well, after I stopped inting, I wouldn't. You weren't really inting though, because that play style aggression is how you got your first like what three kills and then two assists or three assists like you would you were part of like five kills early it's knowing yeah. to switch it off at like the 11 12 or 13 minute mark to be like all right i gotta stop doing that now the play style has to go to form because the second you died go ahead no no yours is good I was like, the, the, the second you died in mid you were level 14 when you like went on the agni and he went off to the side the logi was a whole level lower than you and you died and he caught up i don't even think he, i don't even know if he yeah, got the last fucked. hit i think he just got an assist yeah that was fucked yeah but I was going to say, there, there's a, like, I feel like I'm a really good jungler. Like, I'm better than maybe every jungler in the game other than, like, 15, maybe 20 of them. But there are so many things that I still just, like, miss out on because I just haven't played the role enough and I don't consider it. Yeah, because it's maybe, easy to just I be, like, can't think of it. like, jump, like, you go in early and you're just like, oh, like, my teammates weren't there or I don't know, maybe I should have gone to a different target. But in reality, you should just wait. That's most of jungling right, right now, which fucking sucks. You have to really yeah, rely on either your supporter solo, where at the same time, your supporter solo are thinking the same thing. Like, I need my jungler to actually go in. So it's a weird, like, love-hate relationship right now between all the roles in Smite. Yeah. Well, that all was right. sick, man. Yes, Thank sir. You. Appreciate it, brother. Good luck in